Where do we get our feelings from? Where do our feelings come from? Huh? Excellent. Remember, our thoughts lead to our feelings, and then our feelings become our behavior. There is no way on planet Earth that anybody can have a feeling that is not preceded by a thought. Does that make sense? There is no way that a feeling can exist without a prior thought. Our feelings are the products of our thoughts. So when somebody comes to me and says, I would like to control my feelings, what would be the proper thing to do? Control the thoughts that are feeding you these feelings. But sometimes what happens is this, that the time between the thought and the feeling is so unbelievably quickly that we forget that we thought. And it just goes immediately to us feeling right away. Does that, does that make sense? So what we need to do is try to see what is it about our thoughts that is generating the type of feelings that we are having. Hence, we are not guilty, hopefully, of stinking thinking. Because the stinking thinking will only generate what? Stinking feelings. And if you're stinking thinking and stinking feeling, only what? What type of behavior will we see? Stinking, stinking behavior. Very good, mashallah. Okay? So, so you, see, you, see the, you see the pattern. Okay? So the point is, people let us look into this. It's unbelievable how unappreciated our thoughts are. What we need to look for is, what pattern of thoughts do I have? Remember in the hadith of the Prophet wasallam, do this, don't do that. Or like the judgment, the judgment calling. In the hadith, the Prophet said, لا يحقرن أحدكم نفسه. Let not any of you belittle themselves. Do not belittle yourself. It is un-Islamic to belittle yourself. Or in the hadith, the Prophet said, لا يقول أحدكم عن نفسه إني حمار. Said one of you should not say about themselves, I'm such a donkey. You know? Have you ever been, we're all guilty of this. Oh, I'm such a dork. Or, you know, I'm so stupid. I can't believe this is how dumb I am. Actually, you should. And, you know, um, so what happens is, the Prophet ﷺ said, do not say that about, do not say that about yourself. Why is this? And remember what we did. We went through the, we went through the words. That is why they say, watch out for your thoughts. Your thoughts become your words. Watch out for your words. Your words become your what? Actions. Become your actions. Watch out for your actions. Your actions become your habits. habits. And then watch out for your habits. Your habits become your character. Watch out for your character. That becomes your destiny. But where does all this come from? It starts with a thought that is being translated into words, that are translated into actions, that formulates the habits, that shapes the character, that determines the destiny. Where does it come from? Where did it come from? It came from what type of thoughts you had. And that's why we say, if you want to know what is your thought pattern, what do you do? Pay attention to what kind of words that you are using. Because our words, are the messengers of our thoughts.